Hello everyone, this is another Abacus tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss on ecocentristic loading procedure in Abacus software. In most of uh, our uh, tutorial, there is just concentric load, uh, but in a real project, uh, that's not too much applicable because most of the uh, columns, shear walls, or uh, other uh, gravity load bearing uh, will consider uh, some ecocentricity. In this reason, we must uh, study the uh, response of the specific elements structure during ecocentricity loading. And uh, in this tutorial, we just give a, a small example and we want to see the response of the column uh, when the load is uh, totally concentrated on the center of the, on the shape, or shape of column or uh, then the load is uh, uh, be a little offset from the center of the column. When the load is offset, so there will be some uh, extra uh, stress in the bottom of the column and also some stress uh, so now it's better to uh, uh, do it in in, in, in simulation uh, which is uh, quite uh, useful to understand the response during ecocentricity and concentricity and as example we want to uh, model a column uh, the column is uh, going to be l uh, equal 100 millimeter a very short column and we want to have a uh, cross section of 200 by 200 millimeter and we want to apply 100 kilonewton in the top of this column first in two scenario one he is equal zero which means in the center of the column and the second is e is equal 50 mm then we will uh, observe the stress uh, we can actually draw the stress strain uh, also we can visualize the stress strain during the after the analysis completed as well as we can uh, see the uh, moments and also the force distribution across this column now we jump to the program and we uh, automatically create a column it's called column and uh, we can use uh, a solid uh, that's much more better in case of uh, a shell elements it's also applicable but in um, in a sort of beam it's a little difficult to model here so we're gonna give uh, 2000 and we want to draw a 0 0.0.0, 0 .0. and the second is going to be 200 by 1000 height and we are going to say about 200 that deep of the column so this is the automatically a column and we jump uh, to the uh, material we're going to define a material we can actually use a elastic material it's okay elastic material and I'm just gonna call it mat and we give no need to density just want to apply a last uh, this one this uh, assume is a concrete which has 30,000 megapascal and it's about three uh, 2.2 and it's okay elastic and we want uh, add a solid section assigning this and and it's done and we want to go to assembly and assign it and now here we want to uh, generate some uh, point and we want to introduce the uh, location of the loading so here is some uh, command and you can come to here and the first point is between these two points and it's the center of the column and the second I want to take this one this is called offset generate node or point and I'm taking this point and you can consider in the left right any side is okay based on your project and going to the right side by 50 so this size 50 and what I'm going to do I want to generate two different point which is R1 or 2 and uh, now we go to the assembly part yeah, the step part we uh, just uh, take a step one and considering uh, linear and going to be 0 0.1 slowly uh, applying the load and we, we we do not do, do anything here and just going to interaction 
So the most important point is here, we want to generate a uh, coupling. Uh, the first is uh, we're taking the RP1, which will, will be in the center, and select. And the second, we want to use note, and that's done. And uh, next, we go to the load. Uh, we apply the load and we want to use concentrated the loot and selecting that point and using in a negative uh, y by 100,000 so we use uh, the millimeter newton so it's be 100,000 newton which is equal 100 kilonewton and we want to generate a, a boundary condition considering the bottom should be in, in cluster and okay and we are done here we just go to the meshing and we want to generate a small mesh to observe the three string clearly and we want to give it at least be 25 we mesh it uh, we uh, quickly go to the job and we want to uh, generate a job we called C loading which is concentratically loading And here we are done and we go to submit it submit so we lead the program to run this one and we go to the uh, here we want to copy this one uh, model 2 and we want to go to back to the uh, uh, assemble interaction and in this time the first thing we want to do is to change the interaction the control point should be exactly 50 millimeter offset from the center which we want to apply the load so now uh, we are done you can see here it's changed and again go to the load and in this time we apply the load in the point reference point 2 and the same load but with difference offset the mesh is completed mesh is also job we go to we call it EC loading and here we go we want to submit this one so the first one is completed we go to the result and we want to see the street strain uh, or shortening as well and you come to here and uh, just I'm going to create one more one more uh, view and I'm going to use two and you can see the street strain or you can go to the uh, uh, this command which is uh, moment Uh, sorry it's no need as a moment is no need because in this 3d we do not observe this one we need street strain so that street strain is okay and in a one and a second we go to the again to the job to the job and the second one is also completed now you can see the result is totally different if you go to the 3d and we want to uh, connect together and 3d and we want to uh, see the results so you can see the response is totally different the uh, stress is distributed uh, uniformly uh, top in the beginning in the top and then it's transferred to the bottom totally here and now you can see here which the load is applied in in this uh, site and uh, uh, it will generate a quite large deformation with a very large moment and you can see the stresses like this so uh, you can observe other um, other factor uh, so you can see the uh, the reaction force and reaction force in in any direction you can see totally it is larger 
yeah here you can see here quite large and uh, the okay rotational moment is also not available in 3d and we want to use the uh, deformation you can see here the formation in the beginning uh, here is quite large magnitude and and it's some sort of deformation which is least deformation because in the magnitude is totally in some maybe u1 you can see u1 here is 1.7 and here is 6.7 which is quite large or almost three times and the same thing in the two and s3 and so like this you can uh, evaluate the other factors that is the in case of do, doing a pushover analysis on the shear wall or uh, some beam column connection you will see the response so this is the end of the tutorial if you have any question please put in a comment and i will find time to answer you see you next time